Hey y'all. It's your girl Sassy Diva JJ. And I am just coming right quick for a gratitude journal. It's my birthday week, y'all. Let me adjust this a little better. It's my birthday week, you guys, and I just wanted to come by right quick for a um gratitude journal y'all have you guys still been doing your gratitude journal i hope so happy birthday week to me and i hope you guys have still been doing your journal um just writing down you'd be surprised as i keep saying writing down what you're grateful for is just a good way to find joy find peace okay so I'm not going to hold y'all. I hope it, this is not another psych. But I'm not going to hold y'all because I'm busy. <laughs> um, so, if, so, let me get started telling y'all what I'm grateful for. But first, I'm grateful for you guys. Thanks for sharing videos. Thanks for commenting on videos. Thanks for just being here watching them, y'all. I appreciate that so, so much. And check out Maya's channel. Uh, Maya Pretty Mini. Yes, she's invaded our journal uh, situation. I think she's keeping her own gratitude journal. Are you keeping your gratitude journal? Yeah. Okay. So, first of all, I'm so grateful for seeing another year. I'm so grateful. I am so, 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 so grateful for seeing another year. For being blessed. Seeing another year. Um, I'm a Leo. Shout out to all the Leos. And I'm just so, just so grateful. And I'm enjoying my life. I'm enjoying my daughter. Um, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing um, what you can do with the help of God uh, just to create, just, just to begin you know manifesting creating how you want your life to go it's amazing and it's a good feeling and as i said before 2022 i had a vision board i believe there's a picture one of my videos has a picture of the vision board from 2022 now not for 2023 your girl has not even done hers for 2023 yet. And we don't even, we only have what? We only have about what, five more months left in the year, but that does not matter because the vision board that I had to see me through 2022, I accomplished everything on there except starting my own podcast. So I am just delighted about that and grateful and thankful for all of that. So, um, this morning, I finished when, so it was this morning, in the wee hours though, I finished a Beach Read by Emily Henry. I'm glad I got my hands on that at the library. Glad I got a chance to read it. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. I think I'm giving it a four stars. I really liked it. Um, a couple of months ago, I kept saying I wouldn't read Emily Henry. I'm like, oh, all this hype, all this happy place, all this, all this. Um, but I got a hold of a few of her books. They're on my TBR. And yeah, Beach Read was my first read by her, and I did enjoy it. So I'm grateful for that. I'm also grateful that it's not very hot where I am in Mexico today. It's not. I had a glorious day, a glorious day. It's not um, scalding hot. The weather, the temperature is not so hot. It's warm, it's beautiful like I like it, but it's not um, burning up, and so I'm grateful for that. And most of what I wrote, I wrote in the wee hours of this morning just saying what I just said. I sold a, I sold my home last year. That was on my 2022 list of what to do. Um, donated all my furniture, um, junk some stuff, donated my 
most of my book collection and my CDs as well. And when I say collection, I had a huge library. <laughs> when I say huge, not that the room was huge, the collection was huge. I've been collecting books since I was at least nine or 10 when I started buying my own books, either walking to Walgreens, buying books, or especially through the school, you know, the school has those um, book order forms that um, I spearheaded me and my friends participating, begging our parents for book money and buying books. And still, I had those books, you guys, like Lisa Bright and Dark, like uh, The Witch of Blackbird Pond. Um, those books were bought in my childhood. I still had those in my library. So it was a vast collection, but I'm like, I'm not going to be lugging books all over the world. I'm just not getting ready to do that. And they're, they're things. And I use a Kindle now, and I also use the library. But believe me, go ahead, um, there are videos here where you'll see recently this year, I've purchased some. I'm not going to ever have like a huge, vast collection. There's no need for my personal self to do that. It kind of weighs me down. Um, then, so I was proud of that, happy about that. Um, I loved my home. <laughs> I did before I, I sold it. I loved it so much. It was such a blessing and it was like a dream home. You know, you guys, I had two stories. I had a huge backyard. Uh, nice front yard we loved it I, I really did but my lifestyle no longer had the need for that just no longer had the need for that nor my uh, what some people will refer to as my luxury car I sold that and just didn't have the need a lot of times things weighed you down <laughs> and we're not missing are we missing anything we have pictures, we have memories, and I couldn't bring all that stuff to Mexico, y'all. So, and wherever else I may roam to. Um, what else? What else? Because my home even had a fireplace in the basement. So when I say it was like a dream, it was. The basement, though, was unfinished. So that was become, beginning to be a headache. Some things were, you. it's always your responsibility. If something happens to the roof, something happens to the fence that I had to replace. Uh, so it's always my responsibility, which I didn't mind. But like I said, with lifestyles changing, I didn't want to grow even older and then have those, those responsibilities right now. And I wasn't interested in renting it out. I made do something like that um, in the future, like Airbnb or get some property to rent out. I haven't made up my mind about that. And I'm also grateful for my patience. I'm becoming even more and more patient. I'm so thankful for my kids, for music, thankful for booktube. Um, and all the books I've been reading, getting back to one of the hobbies I love, just by me changing my whole uh, perspective, everything is a mindset. It got me back to my books. I have been going through so many different situations and things weighing heavy on me since 2020. Um, 2020, 2021, those were really rough years. Just, you know, we won't go into details, but it was this thing, that thing. And I just wasn't reading a lot. I, could, I can't enjoy my book when I'm staring into space. Pick it up and then I'm staring, worried about this, worrying about that. And now there's still challenges, you know, life, life is life, however, I'm so happy I'm able to find my joy of reading like I always have all my life. Uh, 
unless there's certain things going on and it makes me pull back maybe in a year I may only finish 10 books or whatever skip some months because it's just I'm so busy um, stress plays a part in me at times pulling back from my reading but I'm so grateful 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 that I'm back at it now and I'm going to be writing soon as well so and I'm thankful for this day I'm having um, and like I said most of this that I've written is just about everything I've already talked about it's just a lot about accomplishing everything on that vision board putting a home up for sale selling a home it's not easy and when it's just you doing things it's not easy um, but with the help of this baby girl here we did we did it we did it we got ourselves out of there we um, we would have to pack this up, pack that up, get it ready for the donation truck, put things outside the house for the um, the Veterans Society to come get it. it. It's separating, doing this, putting things on a community offer up as well to, hey, anybody interested in this is for free. That It was a lot, just a lot. It's just a lot, you guys. One second. It, it's just a, it was just a lot and to just it's you just doing everything you know but the whole point was to move the whole point was to sell the home um, and I, it was I sold it while we were still living in we were still but we were getting so much stuff out of there that it's still with the walkthroughs there wasn't much in there you know but I did keep our beds and everything so we could be comfortable. Of course, we had tables so you, I could do my work. work. So, but otherwise, they were walking through a, you know, a semi-empty home, I guess I would say. So that was something, running out every time you had a showing. It, it was something, it was a good experience, but it was, it was, it was interesting, you guys. And it was physically taxing because when I tell you that Maya and I physically did so much, you know, now when the people would come and get the items, that, you know, would be different. Of course, I'm not picking up furniture, but otherwise the packing, the taking things to, uh, like to donate, I did that. I also had trucks come get things to donate. I'm getting tired just talking about it. I know you guys are getting a little tired just hearing about it. But, yeah, y'all, it was something. So, but I'm grateful for that experience. I'm grateful that I could even say that I sold, you know, sold a home. Bought homes, sold homes. Happy to say that and blessed and grateful. So... Yeah, um, and you guys probably hear the birds, so we're just, just chilling today. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to keep you guys, but I do want you to know we're still doing our gratitude. I want you to please to keep doing yours. It's so awesome to just be in gratitude because it brings you joy. You think you're having a bad day? Sit down and mark up what you are grateful for what is going good what challenges were brought to you and at that point it may have stressed you out but then when you get through it what lesson did you learn be grateful for those so i'm gonna catch y'all i just wanted to stop by and say that and that's it i appreciate every one of you i appreciate you for liking the videos i appreciate you for commenting for sharing, for subscribing, for always uh, just being behind your girl. I really appreciate you. Talk to you later. Peace, sassies.